everyone, this is uh, Two Marty. Two movies. Yep. Uh, this is Marty Kokish. Uh, welcome to Marty's Garage. Uh, reoccurring theme on the show seems to be that, hey, it's Minnesota, it's cold as hell. I don't want to work out here because it's cold. And so, uh, uh, my uh, kindly dad uh, found a, uh, I'll just go over here, um, got me a used furnace. So we're going to, uh, we're going to hook this up because previously until now, I've got this propane deal that I've been using to heat the garage and, uh, I usually work out here for about an hour and then I have a splitting headache due to propane fumes so I'd wait till late at night and then I'd come work here for an hour, get a headache and then go to bed and it wasn't too fun. So uh, uh, so today we're going to be, we're not going to be really be doing car stuff but we're going to be doing garage stuff I guess. Um, so this guy right here is Norm Kokish. Um, and, uh, He's going to be helping me install the furnace. Um, so I'll kind of show you what, what we're going to do, but I probably don't recommend that any of uh, you guys mess with your uh, gas lines in your house and stuff because you could blow up and die. So, uh, all right. All right. So uh, we got the project underway. We're actually inside our house right now, and uh, here's kind of what we're doing. We've got our water heater right here. This is the uh, the gas line that goes down, comes into it. Um, this little valve right here, and Norm has uh, kind of cut out a section here, or well, it looks like he got a whole new pipe right here, and uh, put this T fitting deal in here, and a uh, little elbow we're going up, and uh, we're gonna go across the ceiling there, and come out the wall that he's banging on. Wow, look at that bald spot. <laughs> And so from there, uh, my garage is detached, so we'll run like a temporary line across my backyard for now. And then... Uh, That'll work out good, just like that. Oh, hey yo. And then out into the garage. So, uh, and I'm working on wiring out there, and... Uh, well, so uh, Norm's gone for the day. Um, got the furnace in. Uh, no breath. Nice. It's warm in here. This is great. No fumes, and it's awesome. <laughs> um, I guess I don't, I don't know. Maybe if you're interested, but why does the propane heater give me a headache while this does not? Um, uh, I can. I'll show you my propane heater real quick. I uh, guess the reasoning behind that is there's no venting whatsoever. Um, it just pretty much blows flames and um, I get to inhale all the fumes and stuff and uh, I don't know I guess usually people can uh, uh, work with them longer than an hour without any issues but I must be pretty sensitive or something like that because I feel like crap um, so but uh, uh, this guy over here um, the uh, uh, got a chimney. Um, basically, it it uh, it shoots flames into these uh, these fins right here, and then a fan down there blows air through here. So um, you're not directly breathing any of the the fumes. It's just uh, these fins are just heating the normal air that's circulating. It's uh, blah, 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 it's circulating through the garage, and uh, the nasty stuff goes out. So I don't know. It's a pretty cool find. Uh, you just uh, <laughs> uh, my dad actually lives like an hour away, and I mentioned that I wanted to get like a junky furnace off Craigslist and throw it in here or something like that, just so it'd be a little bit easier to work out here. And uh, kind of got an early Christmas present and. Uh, uh, he actually found one in a neighboring town, drove up here, went and bought it, and then just brought it over here. So, thank you, Norm. Um, and uh, since I have a warm garage now, I decided to uh, uh, do a little bit of work on the MG. And uh, uh, what I kind of did today is uh, I wanted to 
Uh, I haven't wanted to work on the floor at all because freezing concrete absolutely sucks the heat right out of your body when you lay on it. So uh, uh, haven't been too uh, keen to do that. But um, one thing I needed to do is uh, 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 is uh, undo the drive shaft. And um, you know what's 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 a drive shaft? Well, what that is is uh, you know we've got our engine here, and the engine has a bell housing, little uh, looks like a, a bell uh, that the uh, clutch sits in um, on the back of the engine. You can't see it here because it kind of see the start of it like right here, and it goes uh, goes down into there and connects to the transmission. And the transmission uh, runs through this tunnel and then it stops like right about here and since um, that's what we're going to be pulling out of here um, the next part right here is the drive shaft and the drive shaft goes from here um, back into here and connects to the uh, uh, the differential back there um, and that's what uh, you know, the transmission spins, spins the drive shaft, spins uh, the differential, and spins the tires. And I don't know, it's kind of a tight fit under there, but uh, I'll show you. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what it is. <coughs> and uh, just just another thing I want to point out too is, uh, um, whenever you work under your car, you always want to use these these jack stands here. They're relatively inexpensive, and they're available at at uh, pretty much any um, auto parts type store and uh, you don't you just really don't ever want to trust a, uh, a floor jack because um, I don't know I've never been under a car and had a go but I've had one jacked up and uh, come back a little bit later and and have seen it squished all the way down but um, you know basically you don't want a squished face because I don't know it's not that cool. Um, okay, so under the car here. So we kind of spin this around. So right there's the oil pan on the bottom of the engine. And you can kind of see the clutch on the bell housing there. And then this goopy, icky looking thing is the uh, transmission. And uh, ends right here. And, and this is the uh, drive shaft that I've disconnected. And so and that uh, goes back into the differential here. And then I'll spin the tires. So if I, you can see if I spin this right now, that's just, it's scratching on this plate right here. So, but you can see when I turn this, it turns the wheels. And uh, yeah, so um, this side was actually, I was gonna pull the whole thing out. This side was easy to take off. This side was a pain, so I don't really need to take it off, so I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me get out of here. So yeah. Progress, progress, progress. Um, I don't know. Um, I have a, a email account that I've set up now for this show, so if you want to ask me questions or, or anything like that, um, it's just martysgarage at gmail.com. Um, or if you want to correct me on something I did that's stupid or something, because I probably did. And uh, let's see what else. And it's shows available on iTunes and stuff. I know it's kind of a it's kind of a shitty show, but. I don't know, maybe you get a kick out of it or something. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for, for today. So thanks for watching.